Well, welcome back everybody. My name is Andrew and you're watching the Killies Country Life. So, we are back today for another attempt at painting. And by attempt, I mean I wasn't satisfied with some of the streaking pattern left with spraying on the wall. Um, although today it's dried and it looks much better. But I just picked up a bunch of Kills Primer. I think we're going to start with that for the rest of the house. So that's how we're going to kick this episode off. Priming these walls, letting that dry, and then we're probably going to roll paint the rest of the house so I can get a nice, thick, even coverage. So let's kick it off. Let's get primer on the walls, let that dry for a little while, and then uh, jump right into rolling everything green today that needs to be that color. And as far as the individual rooms, we're still picking out that paint color choice. We may have just found it. We'll have that in an upcoming episode. even line without affecting the roof. Even though I'm gonna go back and roll one more coat on the roof, it's so close to being right, I don't have to get just on the edges whenever I roll. So let's see if we can make this work. I bought one of these edgers that has wheels on it where you push up against the roof and you roll along. I'm just not so sure this is gonna work well on a textured wall. We're gonna find out. Worst case scenario, uh, we'll just use a brush and cut everything in. And yes, Boy, I am dressed to impress. I've got all ready clothes on, and look at this. Best pair of shoes ever on. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna throw these out just a while back, but I was like, you know what, I'll keep these for some paint shoes. Woo! Boy, I'm looking ugly today. go to the old school method of a brush. Looks like cutting in my hand is going to be the best option. I wasn't planning on trimming out all the ceilings, but I may. This is aggravating.
All right, so we are done, officially done with the green. Me and Tiffany are still potentially talking about changing some rooms, but I've learned a lot in this episode, and I've literally received hundreds of comments from y'all on the proper way to do sheetrock. So let me just share what I've learned. Maybe you're interested, maybe you're not. So if we come in here into the mud room, we decided to carry the green on down the hall and into here because we just didn't know where to do a nice clean break if we decided we want to paint this room differently. Um, I guess we could break the paint here and add a door, but it just would look funny with having two different colors. So Tiffany ultimately decided just carry the green on in here. So keep in mind, this is a room that I sprayed very lightly with Kiehl's primer because, well, I just couldn't find much primer locally and I actually run out and did not get to prime the whole house. Then I come behind and rolled this one time. And let me tell you, it looks, it looks excellent. I can't find any blotchy spots, any streaks, nowhere the paint has absorbed. Now there's gonna be some shadows and stuff in here that'll look a little off of the camera. And again, it is not as minty green as the camera's showing. Um, I wish y'all could see this in person. It looks really good. But we had a big conversation about priming, how to prep walls. People talked about spraying and back rolling, all kinds of stuff. So the rolling has been very slow but it's given me the exact results that I'm looking for. One coat of paint, I bought an extremely thick, very expensive paint from Sherwin-Williams that says it's a one coat paint and primer. I've got those results rolling. Whenever I sprayed the living room, I had to put like three coats on spraying. And that makes sense, it's lighter. So here's what's interesting. The living room, once it dried, actually looks beautiful. Those streaks that I said I was seeing, they're gone now that it's dried. Maybe I jumped the gun on, on complaining about the paint. So keep in mind like this wall, for example, has three coats of paint. All these walls have two coats with the sprayer. I did two real quick heavy coats. It looks excellent now that it's dried. So I jumped the gun. Keep in mind, none of these walls are primed. So this all-in-one paint plus primer, big bold claims that it makes, seems to be working. I mean, look at this wall, beautiful. I don't see a streak anywhere in it. I think this wall also has three sprayed coats. Now here's where it gets interesting. You come in here to the kitchen. I ran out of paint spraying right here. I came back and back rolled it later. Um, I cannot tell where I stopped spraying and started rolling. And you're probably wondering why I only have this strip rolled like I do. Keep in mind we're doing floor or a, a all the way to ceiling cabinet. So cabinets are gonna cover. There's no point in wasting my expensive paint up there. Cabinets are covering all the way down there, and I painted behind where the stove and refrigerator will go, just so if you can ever look back in there. But that is an unprimed wall and rolled with one coat, and it looks it looks perfect. I don't see no bleed through, or it really soaked it up, anything. So rolling is definitely giving me the results that I wanted. I love my elevator. Okay, so take this with a grain of salt because some of this paint is still actually damp up here. Just got done painting this. But this is all unprimed walls because I ran out of primer and one rolled coat. This wall is already almost completely dry. You're seeing some shadows there from light from coming through the windows and all. But I've done looked up and down the wall to the eye. I don't see no bleed through, nothing absorbing. So yes, a good quality thick all-in-one paint can actually be put on raw drywall with one coat. It, it can be done. I am very surprised. Now I still see some damp spots on this wall because just got done painting this. So there's the green. I ain't gonna lie, Tiffany, I've been talking back and forth if we wanted the loft green or a different color. She ultimately chose, let's just go on with green. And I think it's gonna be okay, keep in mind, all right here is going to be black railing. Eventually stairs are coming up. So we're going to have a lot of different contrast up here. Black truss, black railing, uh, wood floors. So it's just not going to be a green hole up here. It's going to get broke up. Then you got to keep in mind you're going to have white uh, vents. You're going to have white outlets, a big white door. This wall is going to get broken up. You've got to kind of really envision what's going to be in a space down a road when you're painting. Because when you first paint and the room's empty, all you can focus on the paint, not everything else that's ultimately going in it. All right, so I guess it's time to wrap the green, Grinch green episode up. It is what it is. It's gonna look beautiful down the road with all the wood 
and everything else that we're gonna put in this room. Trust us on this one. And again, the camera is not showing how the screen really looks in person. It looks way different than camera. I, I don't know, I got some settings all off my camera right there. But thank y'all so much for watching. I guess the next episode is gonna be another painting episode. I've got a ton of views on the last painting video. A lot of people have put comments into it. People seem to really be interested in the painting. I don't wanna bore y'all to death, but the next one's gonna be a completely new color that y'all haven't seen unless you've looked on our community tab, and we're gonna start painting all of the rooms. Here's the exciting part. It's gonna be a bunch of cut in and a bunch of rolling to get those rooms done, but once they're done, the painting is done. We can move straight to electrical. Some people are probably like, crap, more electrical, but this is the good electrical. This is sticking all the switches in, the outlets. I'm going to start putting lights in the kitchen and the pantry and bedrooms and all that stuff. Ultimately trying to get within the next few days to a week or so, get the inspector out here and get me some power pulled to this house. Now there's some things I can't put up, lights, fans, because I still have to put wood ceiling in here, still have to deck the underneath side of the porch. But a lot of y'all are telling me I should be able to go ahead and get power pulled to the house so we can go ahead and run outlets and continue to work. I think there's a loophole in the system for doing that. So we're gonna work toward that regardless, no matter what the inspector says. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm gonna go clean everything up, let all this dry, and then get right back to painting, start y'all another episode. Catch you on the next one.